Good morning, Cougars. Today is Falcons Friday, February 3rd, 2017. Today is an R day for specials. My name is David, and I'm here with my friend Addie. We're so glad you're watching. Today's Cougar Cafe menu features choice one, Salisbury steak with gravy and roll. There's no choice two today. Choice three, PB and J. Choice four, yogurt muffin munchable. And choice five, chef salad. If you have guidance as a special this week, please be in the computer lab. Here are a few messages from our PTO. All money and orders for friendship grams with candy attached will be due next Friday, February 10th. The friendship grams will be delivered on Tuesday, February 14th, Valentine's Day. The mother and son event is coming up. Boys, make plans to come to school with your mom next Thursday, February 9th, from 5 o'clock to 7 o'clock. You will get to participate with building things and Legos. Admission is $6 per person. TGIFF. What? Thank, good thank goodness it's Falcon Friday! Yay! Georgia's Governor Nathan Deal announced that today, February 3rd, officially be called Falcon Friday! Our hometown team is playing in the Super Bowl on Sunday! Good luck, Falcons! We know that you will rise up and beat the Patriots! Here are a few facts about our Atlanta Falcons. The team first started playing in 1965. They have been playing their hometown, their home games in the stadium called the Georgia Dome, except the playoff game that sent them to the Super Bowl was the last game that they played there. Next season, they will be playing in the brand new Mercedes-Benz Stadium in Atlanta. A man named Arthur Blank owns the team. If you watch the game on Sunday, you might see him dancing around. Dan Quinn is the coach of the team. He helps players figure <coughs> out the best plays to make it to defend the other team or try to make a score a touchdown. The quarterback of the Falcons is Matt Ryan. He will be throwing a lot of touchdown passes on Sunday. Other notable players include Devontae Freeman, Julio Jones, and Mohamed, Mohamed Sanu. The Falcons' mascot name is Freddy Falcon! He has been entering crowds for more than 35 years! Rise up, Cougar Nation, and cheer extra loud for your favorite team on Sunday! Yay! Everybody loves It's the first Friday of the month. That means no RTI, because we will be showing the principal's book of the month. We won't share too much information, but here's a teaser. You can never tell who will become your best friend. Keep your broadcast on this morning to watch February's Book of the Month. Here is Mrs. Bowman with a Mrs. Brown with a special <laughs> announcement. Good morning, boys and girls. I have a special announcement today. It's a fun day for Mrs. McDonald's class. They won the most um, classroom dojo points for the quarter two, for the parent involvement, and they are having a dancing and donuts party today. What? So I'll see you in just a little bit, Miss McDonald's class. That's not fair. Well, it is fair. I don't know. <laughs> no. Watchdogs are dead of our great students. Let's meet our watchdogs for today. Okay. Bye. Good morning, Cougar Nation. This is the one and only Mr. Livermore with some special guests today. Sir, can you tell us your name and who you have with us today? I am Caden from Miss Timmy's class, and this is my grandpa. And what is his name? We call him Paul. Paul. That's right. That is good. Sir, what would you like the kids to call you today? Uh, they can call me Paul. Okay. Mr. Paul is what we're going with today. That is awesome. Um, now, you're going to be a rock star today. That's correct. Uh-huh. And all the kids are going to want to give you high fives and fist bumps in the hall. That's correct. Have you all been working on a fist bump? Never. Okay. We would like you to do it in front of the camera there. Zoom in, camera three. <laughs> what, one more time in slow motion. I missed that. 
it's a strong, solid explosion at the end there is what we want you to see. Well, guys, we appreciate you coming today. You have an excellent day. And, guys, be sure you say hi to Mr. Paul in the hall today. I'm glad to be here. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you both, sir. Have a great day. Now it's time for the pledge. After the pledge, we will have a moment of silence. Please stand, place your right hand over your heart, and turn to face the flag in your room for the Pledge of Allegiance. Attention, salute, pledge. Good, Good morning, morning Cougar, Cougar Nation. We, we made it to Friday. Ooh. Yay. Well, boys and girls, today's the first Friday of the month. And you know what that means? That means we have Book, book of the, the month. month today. Big deal, big deal. Yes, and we have a fabulous, fabulous book that you guys are going to get to watch as soon as our announcements are over. Today, we are going to read a book that's called Owen and Mzi. And it is so fantastic. It is a nonfiction book, but it oh, is a cool. true story about a giant tortoise and a hippopotamus, and they become best friends. And you're going to find out what happened to the hippopotamus. It's a little bit sad in the beginning, but he makes a best friend with the hippo or the great tortoise, and they just have the best time together. So I think you guys are going to love this book. What I'm really excited about is that when I was shopping, I don't know if you can see this, but this is a copy of the book that is written in Spanish. Oh, and so oh, I bought a couple cool. extra copies of the book. So we have it in English, but we also have it in Spanish. Nice. So I'm picking two classrooms today that I'm going to come visit and bring the Spanish copy to. So if you are in Miss McNeely's class or Miss Sipsy's class, you get a special delivery oh, today. Cool. That is really something. I know. I'm pretty excited. And I have to say, I did a little previewing last night, and you're going to love it. It's a really cool book. Mr. Livermore, do you have a joke? I have the joke of the day, and I also would like to point out that I have a shirt on that is Falcons. And I said yesterday I would not purchase a shirt because I was protesting because the shirt was over $35. But Ms. Durham, our uh, interpreter, gave me a shirt today, and it fits perfectly. <laughs> and I'll go to the front office right after this joke. <laughs> mm, this is a good one from the joke box. Why did the painting go to jail? Why did the painting go to jail? Why did you all the can get painting? This one. I believe in you. I, <gasps> I know. <laughs> because he was framed. Bam! Ah! I knew it, man. Great joke, and have a great day.